now you've been a great crowd. Check out my website. Look at me on YouTube. Check out my MySpace. Come be my MySpace friend. Facebook. Don't forget Facebook. And I'm Twittering right after the show. Check out what happened during the show. You just saw the show. Now find out what you saw during the show. Twitter me. Twitter you. Twitter everybody. Okay. Do you have a web page? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the internet. Creative outlet and marketing engine. I'm horrible at self-promotion. Uh, so like, I will maybe write, hey, come to the show, whatever it is. I get guys that email me and tell me about their day, like four times a week, like just what they did that day. And you wanna respond the first time, you'd be like, thanks for watching, so glad you came to the show. But if you write back again, like I have a feeling like he'll be wearing my head as a hat. I use the internet mainly for meeting people. Um, people like-minded people, single people, um, people who are looking to have a good time, uh, people who might, you know, be interested in me uh, coming over and coming on their food. I think the internet has been amazing for comedy. It's been a whole new way to express yourself, but you can't control people have video recorders on their phones. We're a nation of finks, you know? So, so I think that adds to them trying to, to goat you to snap, you know? They're hoping that they'll have, be the first one to post you fucking snapping. Why would you want an HBO special when you can have your whole act in 30 second shitty increments on YouTube, you know? And, and it's, the audience doesn't understand, they see nothing wrong with it, but you have all the shit of you on YouTube, stuff that you're just working on, stuff that's old, that you're is supporting the new stuff. It's a slow process to hone and change your act. It's not really off the top of our heads.